All right, so this is a, another proof of concept, something I'm working on. Um, I'm calling this one the hybrid force quote player. Um, so a lot of fonts nowadays are actually including quotes, um, and you can rename them, obviously, to force.wave, etc. Um, but if you wanted to have the force sounds and the quote sounds and have them be controllable, um, there really wasn't a method. So um, in order to use these without actually taking away another control, I've set it up so that the force button, um, so while the blade is on, if you hold and release power, uh, long hold and release, um, it'll do the force effect, but now you can toggle to quotes individually. Um, so the typical usage would be you hold the uh, power button and release, and you get your force sound. But now, if you wanted to toggle to quotes, and quotes will be separate, so you would name it quote one, two, three, four, or whatever. Um, what I've done also is the quotes are going to be sequential, whereas the force sounds are random. Now, if you wanted to go into quote mode, you just start with your blade pointing down. You can't see it on camera, but same exact button. And it said one, so this is a test I've set up. But now every time I do the force, you only have to do pointing down once, but now every time I do the force, it's going to do quotes instead. And this will just go sequentially, so it'll go to two, three, four. And I only set up five, so now it'll go back to one. But now if I want to go back to the force, I'll just point down again. And now I've got force sounds again. So the pointing down just toggles between quote and force, and then every time you use the force, it'll do either, either the quote or force sound based on what you've toggled to. Now, if you don't have quotes, it actually won't do any toggling, obviously, so this can tell what's in your font. So if you have certain fonts that have quotes in them, this is enabled. If you have uh, fonts that don't have any quotes set up, then it would always just do the force, but it just gives you another way to uh, have some additional sounds if you wanted to access them. Um, so this was just a test font with the numbers. I'll kind of show you the actual quotes themselves. So now this will have actual sound, so we'll do the first one. So this will do four sounds at first. And the four sounds, again, they're random. But now if I wanted to go into quotes, I'll point my saber down, do the force. And these are set up sequentially, so you can set up what quotes you want in a certain order. So it starts, that's the first one. Second. Persistence and the force is my ally. Third. Better get ready for a fight. Fourth. Bad feeling I'd see it here. Fifth. And again, I only set up five for the testing. And then if I went back around, it would do this first one again. Very good friend of mine told me to go out. Find my place in the galaxy. But you can set up however many you want, and the quotes will always go sequential. And then if you want to go back to the force at any time, just point down, do it. And you've got your four sounds all back. So just a hybrid control. Um, so obviously still more testing. Probably going to have to clean the code up a little bit. Um, but just something I've been working on and I've got it working. Um, and, uh, you know, just wanted to share. There's a lot more in the works. Um, uh, still doing a lot of work with edit mode. Um, Frederick's obviously been busy. For those of you who haven't seen his news, check out uh, the TRA forum for his news. Um, but I've needed his help on a few things, so um, as he gets time, uh, edit mode is still very much in the works. There's actually a, a lot uh, coming, um, just need to get stuff sorted. Um, and I've actually got a few other things uh, hoping to get working, um, but this was the latest I was able to sort out. Um, so hybrid font quote uh, will be a new functionality coming um, to a future OS. Um, so hope you enjoy.